Hey everyone, welcome back to Rig Take Stacking. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk about my uh, my full gold stack. Now, uh, I decided I wanted to do this video, and I, I had set a goal weight that uh, once I reached that, I would do the uh, the video. And uh, I had just recently noticed that on my last purchase, it did put me over that uh, mark. So uh, you will see what that total is at the end of the video here once I show you all of it. And uh, same thing for silver. I have set a goal for silver, and I have not reached that yet. So hopefully that will be reached this year as well, so I could do another run for my silver. But uh, today is for gold because I'm happy to say I did reach that uh, that goal I set to, uh, before doing my first uh, my first full stack so jumping right into it I'm going to show you some of the uh, the smaller items that I picked up right when I you know got into stacking and uh, it is these uh, one gram bars I have uh, in total six of them I have four from the sunshine mint and uh, you know one pamp sweet so I'll show you the other ones too but yeah I don't uh, I don't look to buy these anymore now that I have been stacking and you know uh, realize what the uh, the premiums are uh, that are attached to the uh, the uh, the gram bars here I realize that uh, it might not be worth picking up the gram anymore I have set my uh, floor my basement for um, what I will pick up and that is the tenth ounce size I will not go any lower than the tenth ounce size because I feel that the uh, the premiums are um, good. Well, not good. They're uh, acceptable at that point. Once you get down to the gram, then it's uh, you know a little bit more. And so here's one from the Pamp Suisse, and another one. This is uh, what is that? Republic Metal Corporation is the the last one gram bar that I have in my stack. And now moving on to the next size up is the tenth ounce, and I do have a fair bit of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the, the newest ones, just because I have been doing that tenth ounce challenge this year. So I have picked up some newer items, and starting right off with the uh, the three that I've picked up from the Perth Mint here. I got the uh, the 2022 Lunar Tiger, the 2022 Kangaroo, and this is an older Square Globe map coin. Uh, I'm not quite. I have to look. That is is from 2016 so I did purchase it this year but it's not a brand new coin like these 2022 offerings from the Perth Mint and I do like the design that they've come up with uh, with some of the new ones I don't have many of the uh, the lunar coins but this one is the 2022 and again the uh, the map and then there's uh, two other ones that I have picked up this year. The kangaroo is actually technically for my May pickup in the 10th ounce challenge. Uh, but the other two that I've picked up this year is this 2021 uh, American Gold Eagle and this 2022 uh, uh, Krugeran. Now these are something that I always want to get and I'm not going to be able to stack a lot of them. Just because I live in Canada, anything that isn't the 49's fine gold, you can see that uh, there's just a little bit of difference in color and that's because there's a difference in purity. This is the 24K 49's fine gold. These are the uh, 22K and I believe it's like 0.91 something like that percent gold uh, and in Canada anything that isn't the pure gold gets uh, extra tax on it so I did uh, you know eat the taxes on these two little coins um, just because I want to get them in my stack they were uh, priced very cheap and then when you factored in the uh, the taxes on top of them they turned out to be just a little bit more than uh, the tenth ounce maple leaf at the time so I went ahead and pulled the trigger and uh, if I do want to pick up any more of the, say a Krugerrand or a uh, American Gold Eagle or the Gold Sovereigns, I love those, um, then it, I would just make kind of like a quick trip down uh, across the border, say down to like Buffalo or Niagara Falls, make a day out of it and go in person to uh, to pick up the uh, the coins just to, to avoid the extra taxes on it. And here are my Canadian 10th ounce coins. Uh, the one in the assay case, if you can see in there, that's actually a five nines fine growling cougar coin. Uh, it's my only five ounce, uh, sorry, five nines coin that I have in my stack, but it looks really cool. And I like that it came in this nice little display, the assay case. And you can see I got two of the 10th ounce maple leaves, one from 2021 and one from 2020. And then I really like this one here. It kind of reminds me of the Australian coins where it's the mirrored like finish and the frosted border but this is called the devil's brigade coin uh, i'm not sure how long these ran for but there are multiple years from it because every time i order it uh, i have gotten i got this one from silver gold bull whenever i see them listed there they always say random year so i'm not quite sure how long the devil's brigade series ran but uh, i like the 10th ounce size i believe it comes in a quarter ounce size as well 
And to finish off my 10th ounce coins, I got three more from around the world. This one is obviously the uh, lovely Britannia. I love the new design that they came out with in 2021. And uh, you know, I have plenty of silver ones. I only have a couple of the, uh, the gold Britannias. I'll get to the other one in a second, but that is the 10th ounce size. This one is my 10th ounce Libertad from 2018, I believe. Yeah, 2018. And then this one is my uh, gold Philharmonic. And I don't have any silver Philharmonics yet. I do have, uh, you know, some silver Libertads and some gold and some silver Britannias, but I have yet to pick up any of the uh, the silver Philharmonics. So that is something that I'm looking to pick up this year. And obviously, as you can see, I was planning on going from smallest to biggest. I did skip over one coin. It kind of got buried in with the other ones. Uh, this is a Dos Pesos, and, uh, and a lot of people hate that I put it in a capsule. And it's double hate because it's an ill-fitting capsule. This is a 13 millimeter coin. Coin, and I have it in a 14 millimeter uh, gasket here with the uh, the black ring. So a lot of people don't like that I have it in the capsule, and then it compounded that it's in one that does not fit properly. But yes, this is the uh, the only 90% uh, piece of silver that I have, and uh, I do really like the look of this dos pesos. And uh, I wouldn't mind getting more, but again, extra taxes on it when it's not uh, pure gold. So when I picked that up from eBay, there was just those uh, little extra taxes tacked on. Now moving up to the quarter ounce size, I'm going to start with probably my favorite uh, quarter ounce gold coin, and that is the Proof Libertad here. This one is from 2018, just like the uh, the 10th ounce one. And yeah, I love the Proof um, background there, the mirror. And uh, yeah, I've always loved the, uh, the design of the Libertad. So when I saw this one going for uh, a fairly decent price I went ahead and uh, pulled the trigger on it and the next two I'm going to show you are from uh, the Royal Mint as I said before this is the quarter ounce size of that 2021 Britannia to go with the tenth ounce that I have and this is a fairly new coin this is the Lion of England quarter ounce gold coin and this is the first in the series for the Tudor's Beast series. Uh, I don't have any of the quarter ounce gold from the Queen's Beast series, but with this Tudor coin, the, uh, the uh, Tudor's Beast series, I'm gonna look to pick up the two ounce silver coin and the quarter ounce gold coin for every release that comes out in that series. And like I said, this is the first one here the next two are going down under. We got some uh, some quarter ounce kangaroos, and I do like that the kangaroos, at least the gold kangaroos, change the design each year. The silver ones stay the same, and they're actually the silver kangaroos are my least favorite product from the Perth Mint. But I do like these uh, these quarter ounce kangaroos that I have. As you can see, one is from 2019 and one is from 2021. And I would like to get that. Uh, where is it? I would like to get the uh, the 2022 in the quarter ounce size as well this year to go with the uh, the other two that I have here. But yeah, the, uh, the Perth Mint, they always make quality products and uh, I, I really like that I picked up these two because uh, at the time, these were the cheapest coins that you can get. They were they were much, much cheaper than any quarter ounce, uh, quarter ounce gold coin that, uh, that I could see at least. And finishing off my quarter ounce stack, I'm gonna show you the four Canadian coins that I have, starting with these two. These are the uh, the two modern ones. As you can see, they got the uh, the radial lines on there. I believe the radial lines came in on the silver and gold maples in 2014, I believe. One is a 2020, one is a 2021. I am looking to get the 2022 as well. The 2022, for whatever reason, is one of the more expensive quarter ounce coins on all of the sites that I see. So I have been uh, going with other purchases until I see the uh, the price on those go down a bit. But yeah, I would like to get the, uh, the 2022 going. I wanna get at least one quarter ounce and one tenth ounce coin uh, for every year that I've been stacking. So I, I will get uh, older years if they're cheaper. Like I'll have no problem getting uh, older ones like you'll see. Uh, but I want to get at least one for each year that I have been actively stacking. So I got the 2020 and 2021 out of the way. Now I just need to wait to get a good price on the 2022. And the next two I'm going to show you here uh, is the uh, the old style of the Canadian maple leaf, where you can see it's more of a, a mirrored like background. It doesn't have that uh, the radial lines on there, and you can see that the maple leaf is just slightly different. So I just put a, a modern one up to it just to compare. You can see that the maple leaf has slightly changed as well, and the, there's no radial lines on there. 
But those are the only big changes, you know what I mean? The fine gold and the size and purity are pretty much in the same place. Canada across the top is in the same place. Uh, the queen has changed a bit. And then on the old one, it is a, an actually a, a different bust of the queen uh, completely on the 1989 one. So those are the differences between the, the older and the newer maple leafs. And this one here is one of my favorites. Uh, I do like the design of it, but it was also um, the cheapest coin that I have picked up in the quarter ounce size. And uh, this is the 200th anniversary of the War of 1812. And I just kind of like the design there. And again, just the, uh, the queen on the back. They don't have the radial lines. Like I said, this one's from 2012. So this coin was made pre those, um, those security features on the coins. So uh, I do kind of like that plain mirrored sort of matte back finish on the, the field. And uh, yeah, this is one of, my, one of my favorite quarter ounce coins. And now moving on to the next two sizes, I only have one of each example. And for the half ounce size, I have the 2017 Year of the Rooster half ounce coin and uh, like I said before I do love a lot of the products from the Perth Mint I love all the uh, the gold uh, the Australian gold that I have and this one is Australian gold as well but it's not from the Perth Mint it's from the Royal Australian Mint and uh, one of the things that I like about this one like I said I don't have many of the lunar coins the uh, the 2022 lunar uh, tiger one is the only other one that I have in gold or silver but uh, the thing that I like about this one is the border has all of the other lunar animals around it. I thought that was a pretty cool touch. And this coin is surprisingly big, at least in diameter, compared to the other half ounce coins. Because like you'll see in a second, it is uh, pretty much the same, di well it is the same diameter as the, uh, the, the lone one ounce coin that I have. So it isn't as chunky, it is quite thin. Uh, but the diameter is the exact same as the one ounce and uh, I will show you that right now because it is the last coin that I have and uh, it is quite beautiful and uh, you, you never quite know how dense gold is until you get that first one ounce coin in your hand and uh, yeah it is the uh, the maple so you can see it is just, just that little bit more chunky compared to the uh, the same diameter with the uh, the half ounce which makes sense this is the full ounce so they needed to add another half ounce of gold onto this coin in the same diameter so the only thing that they could do was make it thicker and uh, yeah I absolutely love this coin this is the I had to make sure I couldn't remember if it was 2021 but this is 2022 and uh, as far as my budget goes I am going to be continuing picking up tenth ounce and quarter ounce coins the most but I would like to at least get one maybe two one ounce coins per year but uh, I think my, my uh, long-term goal is to pick up and stack a tube of the gold maple leaves because the uh, the Royal Canadian Mint tubes for the maple leaves they come in 10 so 20 I think would be I wouldn't be able to finish but 10 I believe that that is going to be uh, something that I can accomplish uh, and again, that is going to be going on with my other gold purchases, the uh, the quarter ounce and the tenth. And you know, maybe once a year, like I said, look at the uh, the one ounce size. So I'm thinking that that total goal will probably take me another maybe five to seven years, depending on how many one ounce coins I get, and how many other one ounce coins I get. Now, you know, the five to seven years, if I, you know, take the break off to get the one Britannia, and then the rest of the time I'm just picking up maple leaves. My eye might stray. I might pick up, you know, maybe something from the Perth Mint if I find a good deal on a one ounce gold coin. Who knows? So that's why I set it down the road. It's not something I'm looking to get done in the next two years or something. It's a, it's a long term goal. So I wanted to do a full stack video of my gold once I got over five ounces. And uh, this little bad boy here did it. The, uh, just earlier this week, I had picked up the 10th uh, the ounce gold coin here, the kangaroo, to go with a five ounce uh, silver buffalo. And uh, it officially took me over the five ounces of gold. I'll put the exact total up here because it's just slightly over the, uh, the five ounces. And uh, yeah, well, I said that once I get to that point, I will do the, uh, the full stack video. And uh, you know, it's not too impressive. And there's, uh, there's some pieces, there's a lot of pieces here. There's a lot of fractional stuff. And uh, you know, it's a, it's a little modest stack here that I have going. 
And you know, this is roughly, I'd say maybe a year and a half worth of picking up gold for the first half year, six months of uh, stacking. I basically just picked up silver, then I started getting into gold. So uh, yeah, and then, you know, it has its hooks in me. I, I'm addicted to picking up the gold too. And uh, yeah, if you haven't picked up any gold, um, you know, just set your budget. Uh, and uh, you know, the entry point for me is the 10th ounce and uh, you can just go up from there. Premiums aren't too crazy if you stay from 10th ounce and above. If you go lower, then that's where you will see the, uh, obviously the increases in the premiums. But uh, 10th ounce and above, it's pretty comparable to uh, what you'll be paying for uh, some, some silver products out there. So that's it, that was the, uh, the gold stack video that I wanted to make here. Like I said, just over five ounces of gold on the table here. And uh, I would like to hear from you guys in the comments because I have uh, you know, been conversing with a lot of people that have been talking about their goals and their plans for their gold stack. I'd like to see how those are going. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been fun picking up the gold so far. And I can't wait to get to that, uh, that next mark, which is the, uh, the 10 ounces of gold. Once I reach 10 ounces of gold, I might do a little, uh, little update video here, kind of gloss over, maybe do a little bit of a review here, and then just show you the next five ounces that came into the stack but uh, yeah that's going to be down the road uh, but I'm very very happy I reached the five ounces this week and uh, made this full stack video but anyways that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you come back for the next one thank you